Harry and Meghan Markle hope for reconciliation and to win Charles over for Christmas. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have spent the past three Christmases in California, and it seems they are unlikely to return to the UK for the festive season in the future. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be notably absent from the royal family's annual Christmas celebrations in Sandringham. The family tradition includes exchanging presents on Christmas Eve, attending church on Christmas Day morning, followed by a traditional lunch and a group viewing of King Charles' festive broadcast. Despite an increased guest list this year, including Queen Camilla's children for the first time, Harry and Meghan won't be joining. It's expected that they'll spend Christmas in California with their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, as they have done for the past three years. In fact, it's been five years since they last spent Christmas in the UK. Back in 2018, despite rumours of tension between them and the Prince and Princess of Wales, they were seen happily walking to church together in Norfolk. A year later, things changed, drastically. Despite still being working royals, Harry and Meghan, along with their son Archie, chose to spend Christmas in Canada, after their relationship with the royal family reached a critical point. Just weeks later, they shocked everyone by announcing they were stepping down from their royal roles and moving to North America, and that's where they've spent every festive season since. Just weeks ago, it was hinted that relations between Harry and Meghan and Charles were beginning to improve. Harry contacted his father on his 75th birthday last month, calling him from his California home and also showed him a video of Archie and Lilibet singing Happy Birthday, which sources close to the Sussexes say was a turning point. This led to a friend of Harry's telling the Sunday Times the couple would love to spend Christmas in the UK as Charles has never been with their children Archie and Lilibet during the festive season. However, they added, I can't imagine the Sussexes would decline in an invitation to spend time with His Majesty. As of yet, there have not been any invitations for the holidays. The situation may have taken a step back following the recent release of the controversial book Endgame, by Omid Scobie. Mr. Scobie co-authored Finding Freedom, a biography of the Sussexes which chronicled the couple in glowing terms, and they also receive favorable treatment in his new book. The author of the book makes several claims about the Sussexes, including that Prince William and other family members secretly allowed leaks about Harry to reporters. It's also claimed that William ignored texts from Harry when they were on their way to Balmoral before the Queen passed away last year. The book also suggests that Charles and Meghan exchanged letters after a race row following an interview with Oprah Winfrey. This has led many to believe that a joint Christmas for the royals and Sussexes is unlikely. One royal who might be pleased that Harry and Meghan won't be at Sandringham this Christmas is William. Since leaving the UK, the Sussexes have made a number of shocking claims about the Prince of Wales, including that he screamed and shouted at Harry during the infamous Sandringham summit. However, the situation may have taken a step back following the recent release of the controversial book Endgame, by Omid Scobie. Mr. Scobie co-authored Finding Freedom, a biography of the Sussexes which chronicled the couple in glowing terms, and they also receive favorable treatment in his new book. The author of the book makes several claims about the Sussexes, including that Prince William and other family members secretly allowed leaks about Harry to reporters. It's also claimed that William ignored texts from Harry when they were on their way to Balmoral before the Queen passed away last year. The book also suggests that Charles and Meghan exchanged letters after a race row following an interview with Oprah Winfrey. This has led many to believe that a joint Christmas for the royals and Sussexes is unlikely. One royal who might be pleased that Harry and Meghan won't be at Sandringham this Christmas is William. 
Since leaving the UK, the Sussexes have made a number of shocking claims about the Prince of Wales, including that he screamed and shouted at Harry during the infamous Tandringham summit. Harry also described an incident in his memoir Spare, where he claimed his brother attacked him after a heated argument at Kensington Palace. Former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond told The Sun, I don't think William will be shedding a tear over this. Deep down, I'm sure he still loves Harry, but I don't think he can see a way out of the rift that has opened between them. I think William has closed his mind to the prospect of reconciliation with Harry, and I can't see a time when Meghan would be welcomed back into the family, or a time when she would ever want to be welcomed back. I doubt that William thinks about them for more than a fleeting moment, and then he probably tries to blank out those thoughts. Despite the reported rift, Meghan and Harry are said to be planning ways to mend fences. A source told Page Six, Harry and Meghan's new strategy is reconciliation. They reportedly plan to use Charles' desire to see his grandchildren as a bridge to reconciliation. And despite the tension, both families continue one sweet Christmas tradition, they send gifts for each other's children. It's reported that William and Kate sent presents for Archie and Lilibet, while Harry and Meghan did the same for Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Sunday Times royal editor Royal Nikhar also revealed the tradition last year, and wrote, Believe it or not, the Waleses and the Sussexes are exchanging Christmas gifts this year. In the absence of goodwill between the couples, William and Kate will not deprive Archie and Lilibet of a present under the tree. And in one royal tradition that Team Sussex is still on board with, Harry and Meghan have also dispatched gifts for George, Charlotte, and Louis. There will be no presents exchanged between the adults.